so there's a lot of confusion around will diabetes day event for women's health it is not specifically intended just for women it's not intended just for diabetics the idea of doing this event is to help educate people about diabetes about avoiding this condition um, if you've been listening so far to the podcast you understand that nearly half the population of the USA now is either pre-diabetic or already living with diabetes and uh, these are some horrifying horrifying numbers so hey I see a squirrel uh, so if you'd like to learn a little bit more about living healthy and staying healthy then come join us the other thing you should know is that we're doing this together with Isha group who are um, fantastic individuals who volunteer to do yoga and guide, guide meditation sessions and um, again something a lot of people don't realize is that stress is a big factor in leading to diseases not just diabetes but, but other conditions too so things like meditation and yoga can actually help you build resilience to stress as well which is so important so besides nutrition besides exercise um, mental health is very important and that's really what we're hoping to touch on other aspects of FAQs. So what is diabetes? Firstly, uh, diabetes is not just a straightforward sing single disease. It's basically a conglomeration of a number of conditions, uh, a lot of heterogeneous conditions that come together as high blood glucose. So you can't just meet a diabetic and assume that you know exactly what the story is. No two diabetics are the same, no two diabetes are the same, and no two treatments are ever really 100% similar. You've got to figure out uh, what the conditions in the backgrounds of every individu individual may be in order to treat them uh, properly. But having said that, there are a lot of commonalities. There are certain overlaps and certain features that are most associated with diabetes. One of them is, of course, being overweight. Now, this is very subjective because depending on your ethnicity, you could be just overweight or you could be morbidly obese before you develop diabetes or even a risk of diabetes. So take that with a grain of salt. Secondly, lack of physical activity. This is more or less a definite one. Uh, you can't go through life being extremely sed um, sedentary and expect that uh, things will be peachy towards the end. Uh, another factor is usually smoking or um, just a really haphazard diet. Now when I say diet, I think a lot of people don't realize, they assume they're eating healthy, but what they don't realize is that eating food outside that you haven't been cooking, that's pumped with preservatives, won't help. Um, it's astounding with just the simple act of uh, cooking your own meals can make a big difference. And that's something we're trying to address also during World Diabetes Day. So be sure to register because if we have a head count, we can account for the food to bring in and also the recipes to hand out. They can be recipes, can you imagine? It'll be fun for you to go home and then try them for yourself. Uh, something else that uh, comes up a lot is people don't seem to appreciate the difference between the autoimmune type 1 diabetes and the so-called lifestyle linked type 2 diabetes. Now both of them have their own set of issues and stigma around them and uh, misunderstandings around them. I would just recommend that you look through the pages in the books that I've linked below. I think there should be some resources for you to pick up from there. Um, when we come back to women's health, uh, there's a huge overlap between people with, or women I should say specifically, with breast cancer who also suffer from diabetes. And it's because both conditions have a lot of commonality. Again, when it comes to improving the quality of life of these individuals, exercise and diet are so very important. So you can learn more about that also during the event because we have somebody who runs a clinical trial on breast cancer and a ketogenic diet. Uh, who will be joining us on the day. What else can I tell you in terms of FAQs? Uh, some more facts that come up is uh, why are we doing this? Um, questions I should say. Well, simply I'm a scientist. I like to solve problems and uh, this issue of diabetes has been a mission for the longest time in my life. I did my PhD um, in diabetic complications of the kidney and then my first postdoc research in Germany also looking at diabetes and pre-diabetes. Now in Ohio and Columbus at the Ohio State University I am studying uh, breast cancer and its overlaps and its mechanistic overlaps with diabetes I should say. So um, there's no vested personal interest it's just a disease that affects so many and it's so unfortunate that it goes so frivolously uncated to and there's such a lack of primary care around it. Um, I feel like somebody needs to take charge and help people uh, get the right information and the right resources. 
having said that, I'm not the first, and I'm not, I won't be the last. There are plenty of people who do this as a uh, personal attempt, I'm sure. Um, but you're not being charged, and that's a beautiful thing. People can come in and do the yoga for free and listen to some lectures if they want to. Maybe even get some food and some recipes out of it. Uh, we're not doing this for any benefits. We're not doing this for ourselves. If you want to donate to a charity, we can uh, help you find one. But um, the idea is really just to help educate individuals because it's such a shame to go through so much pain and difficulty and a financial burden like diabetes just because you weren't told what you can or can't um, change in your life. And small changes can make a big difference. What else is there? Well, actually, on the same day, on the day of our event, we will also be doing a mild survey, if you like. So there, there are a few questions that help uh, assess whether somebody has a risk of diabetes. And if you wish to, you can actually take the assessment free of charge on the day and speak to some experts and individuals um, directly in a personalized fashion to hear what you need to do to lower your risk. So that's pretty much everything we'll be doing on the day. What I would really recommend you do is we're only four weeks away from the event, so please sign up, register so we have a head count. We have a pretty cool venue, actually. Uh, this is the Biological Research Tower at uh, the Ohio State University. It's a beautiful little conference room, and it has capacity for enough people, but if I know how many are coming, I think it'll be easier for us to really judge accordingly. If you've already registered, bring your mats and a towel. If you don't have mats, we'll try and fix you up but uh, do bring a towel um, and yeah, look forward to seeing you on the day until then stay fit